Consider a semicircle, and then along the diameter of the semicircle, draw two smaller tangent semicircles. The shaded region shown here lying inside the larger semicircle and outside the smaller semicircle is called an arbalos. The term arbalos literally means shoemaker's knife. By varying the sizes of the inner two semicircles, we get various different arbalos shapes all lying inside the same outer semicircle. Here's an amazing theorem about the area of the arbalos. Consider the semi-chord from the tangent point of the circles to the larger semicircle, and consider this circle that has that semi-chord as its diameter. As we vary the sizes of the inner semicircles, we see that this new circle's area changes, just like the arbalos area changes. The amazing principle here is that the area of the arbalos is actually equal to the area of that circle that has the semi-chord as its diameter. Let's see a visual proof justifying this fact. First, let's complete the semicircle so that it's now a full circle, and then rotate the semicord down to this bottom semicircle. We can use this semicord to create this triangle, which happens to be a right angled triangle by Thales' triangle theorem. Next, we can decompose this right triangle into these two smaller right triangles and split the diagram into three separate pieces, one for each of the right triangles. For each one of these triangles, we'll draw semicircles off the three sides of the triangle like this. According to the Pythagorean theorem, the sum of the areas of the semicircles off the legs of the right triangle must be equal to the area of the semicircle off the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So in each of these diagrams, the blue area is equal to the pink area. But now we can glue these three diagrams back together one at a time, remembering that pink areas and blue areas counteract one another. When we do that, we see that the only area surviving is the pink area of the arbalos and the blue area corresponding to the circle whose diameter is the semicord. But remember that the sum of the blue areas was equal to the sum of the pink areas, and therefore the area of the arbalos is in fact equal to the area of the pictured circle. No matter how we drew this diagram, Thales' triangle theorem would hold for the semicord in question, and so the area of the arbalos is always equal to the area of the related circle.